All Progressive Congress Transition Committee says it did not invite the outgoing Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, to the inauguration of Senator Monde Obeblo as the new governor of the state because the former had plans to frustrate the inauguration ceremony. This is coming after Senator Monde Obeblo, the APC candidate emerged as the governor-elect to take over from the outgoing governor, Obaseki, whose eight years of two tenures as governor will come to an end on November 12, 2024. Obeblo defeated his closest rival, Aswe Igodalo of the People's Democratic Party and 15 other political ca party candidates at the September 21, 2024 governorship election. Prince Kasim Afebwa, a member of the APC Transition Committee, in, the st in a statement made available to newsmen in Benin City titled Obaseki and His Lamentations, said, Rather than sit down to plan the inauguration event as it is done in other climes, the outgoing governor was busy planting landmines on the path to smooth transfer of power. Afebwa also denied the allegation by Governor Baseki that the governor-elect has borrowed between 2 billion naira and 5 billion naira from the almost 27 billion naira his government set aside for the payment of projects and obligations for the inauguration. Governor Baseki had last Friday, while inaugurating the 10-man caretaker committee of the state's chapter of PDP and the governor of the state, was not invited to the inauguration. Uh, what do you make of this development? I mean, since the elections, it has been back and forth between uh, APC and PDP in, in, in a door state. And then you recall what happened between the transition committee, the, the uh, a do state transition committee and the among the Pueblo APC transition committee, the back and forth, the bickering, the fighting. And now, inauguration is here. And uh, Obaseki is lamenting he was not invited. And APC has come out to say why they did not invite him. Meanwhile, on, an, on the side, uh, Pueblo has come out to say that Obaseki has run away. Obaseki is missing. I mean, a lot of things going on. But then, uh, Edo state is as well your state. Uh, what do you make of the development going on in Edo State? This unnecessary bickering going on in uh, Edo State is not normal. It's not, it's not necessary. Invitation of Obaseki to be in the inauguration of uh, Pebolo, uh, I think is, uh, is informal. It is not the dictate of the law. There shouldn't be an official invitation. It's not the dictate of the law. Mm. The most important thing is, before that day, is there any handing over note, well prepared, highly documented, if he has disengaged, because I, I, I remember in a case, uh, commission a few days back, that, that is to say, that is the end of that administration. The he dissolved the cabinet. Yes. So, if at the end of the day, if he has present the handing over note to them, his presence there does not matter anything. So to me, that's not an uh, it's not an insult. Yes, sir. It's not if he like to be there. If he like, even if they uh, they invite him, he may not want to be there. It's not a uh, former. It's not uh, the dictate of the law that he must be there. And for people to say Obaseki has. Uh, Obaseki has uh, Obaseki is missing. Has he gone to the government house or his private house that he is not there? No. What does he need to do with Obaseki missing or not missing? The most important thing, has Obaseki submitted the document of handing over? If that is done, what do you want to do with this we are about? So it's not necessary. You, when you say Obaseki is missing, you should understand the political undertone and what is going on, considering that the accountant general of those states was arrested. That is not FCC. supposed to be. That is not the matter is on the table of the EFCC. Yes. That is not the business of APC. Mm -hmm. It's not the business of a popular law. Mm -hmm. It's not the business of the party in the state. It's not even the business of the president of the, of the country. EFCC, let them work. If Obaseki travel to UK, there is legal ways of even getting him 
he can, they can contact the Interpol. The Interpol will bring him down to this country to come and answer to the crime he has committed. But there is a governor that is still missing. Now, and the governor appeared. I was not arrested. And when he left the FCC corridor, they declared missing again. So what is justice in power? You're talking of um, who exactly? Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, below of yeah, yeah, below of Kogi State. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. So that is it. So whatever they want to do, let them do it. Mm -hmm. Let them inaugurate. Let them make sure the man did not steal from the government house because we've seen situations where by some people are leaving government house or to broom, they will take away. But, couldn't that be one of the reasons why uh, Obeblo is raising the alarm that uh, uh, Obasek is nowhere to be found? It's not his business. But you're saying they should make sure that uh, nothing is scattered away from the if house? If it happens like that, it's not for public consumption. Hmm. Report to the necessary law enforcement agencies that are supposed to handle that. It's not for, it is not time for politicking. So that is it. No, not necessary. But I don't think the big-headed man will run away. From everything, you call him big-headed man. He, he has a very big head, just like myself. All right. Um, uh, Chief Jackson, if I may ask you, do you see uh, from everything you have seen and observed in Edo State, from the body language and all what that is playing out, do you see a possible winch hunt of Obaseki playing out? Considering, again, that um, Obaseki has stepped on toes as governor. And most of the people he offended prior to the election defected to the APC. And many of them worked against him mm -hmm. and his party in the, during the Cuba uh, elections. Do you see a possible political witch hunt happening? Do you see Obaseki still remaining relevant in a those state political ecosystem? Obaseki relevancy in a those state mm. is not depending on the new governor. It's not depending on the, those people who have fought before. What is achievement on ground, if there's anyone, will be what people will be using to remember mm. him. And if people can still remember you out of office, that means you are still relevant. Mm. So it's relevant, it's not depending on his political uh, opponents in the state. So let all get that one clear. All right. So that is it. All right. And, okay, in the area of witch hunting, I don't know what they call witch hunting when there is law. I don't know what they call witch hunting. Witch hunting works only in the lawless territory. Yes, if I'm sitting down here today mm -hmm. and I talk something and the Inspector General of Police do not like what I've said, the highest thing they can do is to reply me. You understand? He cannot say because he is the Inspector General of Police and he wants to which hunt me which hunt me. Which hunt me when do, all do my very when all my very particulars are mm -hmm. correct, mm -hmm. my property documents are correct, I've not committed any crime, I don't have any arms and ammunition in my house, I don't have drugs in my house. I don't have with the IG use his position to resent me. Mm, all right, very well. Um, because I, I know you are in Nigeria, and you are in Nigeria, and you understand Nigerian political situation. Except Nigeria and is you, turning you, to a lawless you recall, territory. You recall situations, I mean, even statements uh, by a political party at that time that would say uh, when you defect to a particular political party, your, your sins, are, sins forgiven. are forgiven. It is in this Nigeria. Yes. I can go ahead to tell you of a time when there was a party in power and certain loud uh, outspoken persons is a political party the moment they start speaking up or critiquing the government efcc they will they will suddenly have efcc case and after a while the moment they stop talking or they defect to the ruling party the this case is naturally fizzled out what would you call that 
That is not what we What is that exactly? Because those, so people, have, those people have skeleton in their cupboard. All right. If I sit down here mm -hmm. for 24 hours mm -hmm. and I'm criticizing the government of Bola Met in Ubu, mm -hmm. there's no way they could witch hunt me. Okay. I'm not, a, if I collect federal government contract, I will do it perfectly well. I don't push drug. I don't bear arms. I don't commit any form of crime at all. So they will just look around me at the end of the day, they will say, oh, there's nothing we can do to him. But if there is anything I've done, they can penetrate through that one and magnify it. If, that is what they say, if you must go to equity, must go with clean hands. Mm. These people, you will be afraid to talk to the power that be when your hands are not clean. All right, so it's not a political winch hunt. Rather, no, if you have not committed, you, you, you see. In Nigeria, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm leaving office, and the person that is coming say they want to probe me, I will say it's witch hunting. I say witch hunting. What's the meaning of probe? Give account of what. You Give mean. account. So right. if I've not done anything wrong, I will even I, I will even assist them in the probe. Doesn't that still boil down to the question I asked you about Obabelo saying that Obaseki is missing now? And you said it's not Obebelo's business, that Obebelo should mind governance, that is now a business of governance. Now, I think is, there, is there anything wrong with the current governor saying the ex-governor should give account? Ah. So is that my business? It, it's, is that it, not part of governance? It's normal. All right. Obaseki must give account. It's a must. He must give account. And if you didn't give account, you now escape. Then they can declare you wanted. Right. At the end of the day, they will politicize it. You will appear, they will still not do anything. Like you talked about the other ex-governor. Uh, yeah, yeah, of Kogi State. He mm, was declared wanted. Mm -hmm. One day, he went to the EFCC. He mm -hmm. was there live. Mm -hmm. They tell him to go. Mm -hmm. When he left, that's a night. They began to look for him everywhere. Do you understand? These are a bunch of jesters. <laughs>